Okay, students, now we are going to discuss the magnetic bubble only. So, magnetic bubbles, bubbles are soft magnetic materials. Now, magnetic domains at a few micrometers in diameter are embedded in a matrix with a different orientations. So, these are the different orientations. The, in the diagram, we are going to observe the, the different orientations of the magnetic bubbles. Date magnetic bubbles are the soft magnetic materials. So, they are in nanometer size. The magnetic bubbles are similar to the <coughs> magnetic disk memories, which are used in the computers. So, the magnetic bubbles are soft magnetic materials and the magnetic domains which a few micrometers in diameter and they are embedded in a matrix form of different orientations. In the magnetic bubble memories, the bubbles are moved electrically at a very high speed. We know that the bubbles are moved with a high speed electrically. Thus, in magnetic, in magnetic bubble memories, the readout and the storage of time is gently reduced. With a high speed of magnetic bubble, bubbles, which are used in the bubble memories, so with this, the readout and the storage uh, starting time, storing time, gently reduces. So the examples of the magnetic bubbles are radial cartographies, hexagonal carries, radial ferromagnetic granites, amorphous bubble materials. These are the examples of the magnetic bubble memories. So the magnetic film, this is the magnetic film, which is made by either carries or garnets. The magnetic domains look like a wave strips, wave strips, that means they are moving or they are displaced. The magnetic strips are arranged in two ways, pointing up and pointing down. On this arranger pointing up and pointing down <coughs> magnetic strips, we are going to expose the polarized light. So, with the exposed polarized light, one set of strips as bright, another strip of four, another strip is in dark. When the light is exposed on the magnetic bubbles, and, uh, where the light is incident, that strips appears as bright. Then uh, another type, another type of strips appears as dark. The behavior of the strips entirely different. Then, when the magnetic field is varied or applied, is perpendicular to the direction of the film. When the magnetic field is applied, and the magnetic domain strip opposes the external magnetic field. As a result, it began shrinking. The water, what I am saying here means, so the behavior of the strips entirely different. When the varying magnetic field is applied perpendicular to the film, when the magnetic field is applied, this applied magnetic field is opposed by these strips. As a result, these wavy strips can be shrink down. Shrink down means they become size small. So we can observe in the first diagram there are wavy strips. So in the presence of external electrical field, so they are getting one type of formation. In third diagram, they, they shrink up. Shrink means uh, they get to minimize or they get small. Small. When the applied electrical field, uh, sorry, when the external electrical field across the high value, all the domains suddenly concentrated in a small circular area of the area of the diameter in order of a few micrometers. These small circular areas of domains are called bubbles. So the applied magnetic field reaches a high value. Now all the domains suddenly concentrated with the circular areas of diameter in order to do a few micrometers order. These small circular areas of domains are known as bubbles. 
So the generated magnetic bubbles are stable in a particular applied field. Now, dependence upon magnetic bubbles on the applied magnetic field as shown in this figure. So when the field occurs the high value, the magnetic domains charges into magnetic strips and hence decreases in bubble radius will take place. So this is the magnetic bubble memory. The magnetic bubbles are a type of computer memories. It is used in epitaxially grown thin film of a materials such as artifacts and the granites coated on a substance. Garnet has a very domain structure. So now, <coughs> so in this graph, we are going to strip the domain. Actually, it is with a field it increases up to a maximum value. At maximum value, the domains will collapse and they form a they form as a bubble. So the structure of magnetic bubble memory is like this. So the schematic representation of structure of magnetic bubble is shown in figure. A very thin layer of a magnetic garnet is grown epitaxially, epitaxially on a substrate which is made by the non-magnetic material such as gadolinium, gallium garnet of the diameter ring from the 20 to 5 40 micrometers. A permanent magnet can be used to produce the required magnetic field, which is mounted on the top of the non-conducting frame. So here the magnetic field is continuously falls on the strips. One type of uh, magnetic strips appears as a bright and remaining appears as a dark. The supplied magnetic field continuously exposed on these materials. These magnetic strips can be shrink and they get from say bubbles. So this is the magnetic bubble memory. So this magnetic bubbles memory having advantages. The magnetic bubble memory is a non-volatile volatile because of the small size the density of bubble memory is very high. If one of the information is stored in the on bubble, can be stored a 10 million, a 10 million bit per centimeter square. So drawbacks of the bubble memory sir, the magnetic bubble memory is not random access memory. Therefore, the information must be read serially. The achievable speed may be few hot kilobytes per second. These are the drawbacks and these are the magnetic bubble memories so which are used in these chips as well as microprocess. And this is the uh, like a memory card. So in the memory card we are going to uh, we are going to use the magnetic bubble memories so for read out and store as the information. And these are the small chips. So, with this topic, 